So this is a sort of a ten point summary of what competing for action is all about. First of all, we in local government have to choose to be enabled. And, and I, I come from local government and I have to say that a lot of times we like to blame uh, or, or put on senior governments uh, the responsibility of saying, hey, they have a project framework for doing this or they, you know, they've created a problem. But you know, there are things that local government can do, so we need to choose to be enabled. Uh, set a high expectation for performance and what, what we want to see out of our, our subdivisions and our land developments. Embrace a shared uh, vision with each other. And then collaborate, collaborate as a regional team uh, so that we can align and integrate efforts. And, and then when we see things that happen on the ground, celebrate it. Celebrate these uh, successes and innovations. Connect with one another through the community advocates like stream keeper groups and, and, and other uh, notables in your community. And then all this is designed to try and increase the capacity of our local government staff. Uh, promote this sense of shared uh, responsibility. Uh, and then the result then is a changed ethic uh, for the better uh, in how we treat our land. And, and if I could just go back to the shared responsibility, what we mean by that is that everyone has a role and everyone can act. Uh, all levels of government, uh, developers, regulators, uh, bureaucrats, consultants, planners, engineers, we all have a role.